just watching. So. You know, I've been listening to um, um, anthems from football clubs. Mm. So, all? like, like you know, you'll never walk. Al- Most Liverpool fans won't know this, but you'll you'll never walk alone was actually a hit for a group. I think they called Jerry and the Pacemakers yep. back in the day. It's not a specific it's Liverpool, not a song. Liverpool song. Yeah. It was no, it's not. Hit. No. Shut the fuck what? up. Well, I didn't know. Well, I thought it was there. I mean, no, it's like a, it's a British no. pop record. It's like it's, it's like Michael Jackson thriller. <laughs> like the city yeah. one, I knew it was a song. There's even one for Dua Lipa that they sang at the mm. at Anfield. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. One, I mean, they're used to stealing yeah, things on Murphy yeah. on Mercy side. <laughs> <laughs> they used um, they used to stealing things on Mercy side. <laughs> but what's up? I was the just cable. thinking. What's that now? So my bad. So so the chorus <laughs> says, "Walk on, walk on, with hope in your heart." And you'll never walk alone. Man, I hope we never see a game like Liverpool versus Chelsea again. <laughs> because, bro. That's how you want to start. Even if I was a fan, I would start. I, I'd say, you know what? Walking is overrated. I hate I'm it. about to Uber. <laughs> like, bro. Bro, I hated the fact that it was. What was that? Early kickoff. Early kickoff. Usually, when we say Ogopa early kickoff, we mean, listen, anything can happen. Like, yeah. the main, the big team can lose. We like they've given a new a new uh, meaning to Ogopa. You may fall asleep at halfway mark <laughs> because nothing will happen. Because nothing will happen. <laughs> you might lose your interest in football. It was dead. Oh my god! After these ninety minutes, wow. they were competing. Who's gonna miss the most chances? It it's either Gakpo or Nunes versus. Uh, do you know? Was it? <laughs> Mudrik, uh, Harvard. No, 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 shut up. Mudrik, Mudrik got this in game. Mudrik was running around past. And you'd look fast running past James Milner, bro. <laughs> That's so, true. You'd look really quick. But you know what's interesting about that whole um, that whole um, situation there with with um, Liverpool and and um, and just the game with Chelsea. It's like when you sit down and you try to think what has gone wrong with Liverpool. And like, obviously, you're not gonna narrow it down to one player. You're not gonna say it's in Sadio. But I'm gonna be honest. I saw three or four plays um, during that game. That if Sadio was on that left flank, yeah. different story. Uh, Liverpool. I think it's. I think unless you're being biased, I think Liverpool is. It's fatigue. Yeah. They've never had a strong squad. They've always had a good team. They've. Uh, they've had a good team for the last. A I good think set of like last, 12, mm. 13 players. Yes, for the last four years, <coughs> I can say they've had a their first eleven. I think maybe one or two changes have been made. Mm. Mm. And last year they played every single game in every competition. Mm. No one told them to go for the quadruple. Yeah, so I mean <laughs> you can't blame them for being like that was on them. <laughs> they aimed for four, they got two. Mm. Not bad. So guys are tired basically. I, yeah, it fatigue kicks in, and then they have one of the oldest midfields. I think if you have Fabinho and Milner and Henderson and mm. uh, so, uh, what's his name? Uh, Fabinho. Fabinho and the Brazilian. Henderson, Keita. Keita yeah. is what? 40 something. Keita's name is good, man. He's exactly. You know, I, f- I always look at Keita and I think, to, m- I think to myself. No, Mandy like, Chicken. Mandy <laughs> Chicken. A player like him, he's just sat there like for the last three, four years collecting his money, easy at peace with the world. Who Keita? Yeah, he's like, yeah, he just yeah, sacrificed yeah. his talent. Just say yeah, okay, yeah, the money's yeah. good. Let me. Yeah. No, it's not a bad career if you think about it. He's won a Premier League, he's won a Champions League. From and the he bench, was, he was a prospect. I think he, when he was alive, yeah. he was there was something there. Yeah. But then again, I think it's the way Liverpool play. It gets also, a toll on you. I also think a big part of Liverpool's issues here is that they just didn't have succession plans at the right time mm. for players like Musala, for players like the midfield, for mm. now a player like Van Dijk. You know what I mean, and. As it ages, it's almost as if they know the end is nigh. Yeah. Mm. But then when they're almost at the doorstep, that's when they start scrambling. Ah, oh, Konate. Ah, oh, Bajetic. Uh, maybe Simikas. Nunes. 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 Gakpo. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not a they very a well... Through. Exactly. Right. And, and maybe there, there was a point I saw about the owners, how they've really maxed out their returns. On yeah, investment. credit card done. They've done everything, right? <laughs> They've spent money well initially, right? Mm. And then they kind of knew that they would pull out at some point. Mm. So the willingness to spend may have not been there or the willingness to plan the next round of years mm. of competition wasn't there as it first was. Mm. I don't know. It's tough to... 
And also, also it's Klopp, Klopp, by the time he gets to the seventh season, I think I don't. There know is that guys, theory, yeah. You guys have seen that mm. stat, like I every team he's been to by the seventh season, but he doesn't yeah. know how to refresh his team once they experience burnout. So mm. I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's he's unlucky That's on that what front. I'm saying this burnout. I think it's he's unlucky on that front, and I think the owners, as you said, to whom they spent money. But they were spending money to get Liverpool's valuation to a certain level so that they can dip. Right. So now I don't think Liverpool's valuation can go any farther than they've they've they've, they've been top of the league or rather top of the, the one of the best teams Competing, in the world. Yeah. The I mean, the only other years. achievement probably is going to be relegation. Like that's got to be the next one. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next tick, the milestone on the bucket yeah, list. They that's going to raise uh, some eyebrows. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, for real. Like <laughs> they've let's do literally it. won everything, right? Yeah, pretty like, much. Like literally from in Europe once, and domestic. Once, once mm. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Uh, in the, within the last maybe five, six, seven years in their span, right? So yeah. nearly designed. Okay, we've we've won all these things. And our valuation is here, so this right. is the be- they've been on sale for the last couple of months. Um, so the yeah. the owners are in between. Do we Spend invest more. for someone else, mm. or do we find a buyer to get someone who is gonna go with the vision? Mm. I think they're kind of stuck in the middle there. They don't know whether to to spend for the future or to spend mm-hmm. to get the. It's like a weird no man's land. Exactly, and that's Just why I think they're suffering because of that. I'm really enjoying um, being able to. To clap back at Liverpool fans by saying Brighton. Ooh, let me speak about like Liverpool it's fans. Good time is right it Kiari is a Liverpool fan? Yeah, yeah. We don't My, count him as a Liverpool. Well, fan. yeah, I mean, he used to be an Arsenal fan. It's yeah. fine, but it's like <clears throat> he's. Wh- how does he go from being an, a, a closet Arsenal fan to being the most bitter <laughs> anti-Arsenal <laughs> pundit on the planet? I think it's obvious though. Like he, he, he's won more. As a Liverpool fan, than an Arsenal fan. So, but you see, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, what's the point of supporting a team the way he does, right? I was actually telling this, mm. this uh, telling him this in on WhatsApp. I was like, bro, okay, Sawa, you watch the Invincibles play, you watch the history be made, you watch Arsenal be built from the ground up, mm. okay? But then you throw it all away, and now someone like me who never saw any of these trophies mm. being lifted, only in documentaries and whatnot, right? I get to enjoy. The process. resurrection, yes, right, and I don't get to enjoy it for the sake of promised, uh, right, right, land of glory. I just, I'm happy to be here. I'm just happy to compete. I'm mm. happy to be in the position that I'm in, with the, with, you know, pr- uh, trusting the manager, trusting right. the players. I, I'm so in love with all of these Arsenal players. Fam, do you know like, I tweet? I actually tweeted this morning. Was it this morning or last night? I was like, I feel like I've got my club back, and. I'm that guy who I'm. I mean, I've been supporting Arsenal from the days of, of um, Bruce Rioch and but, before. But for the longest time that I've known you, you've been borderline indifference. You've you've seen, <laughs> you've seen a good six seven years of indifference from me well, as no, an I, Arsenal I, fan. Bro, Seriously. we're there on, on homeboys. We're there, bro. This guy's like, mm. you know, we won like three two. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, seriously, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll be very honest with you. Just think because, of shit. <laughs> because you, you got to think about it, right? Even. Arsenal's last game at Highbury, I was there, you know. This is my. Well, I won't go into the stories, but we used to get into Highbury a lot for free, right? <laughs> and the thing about it was like, bro, this like you'd get the phone call late in in the in the afternoon, and like, yo, our guy's on the turnstile, boom. And then you're you're trying to work out which turnstile he's on. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 he's one. So so I've been there through those days, you know. what I'm trying to yeah. say, and you know, I've been there through the Ian Wright. I remember watching Arsenal. Sheffield Wednesday, like that's probably 95 or something at Wembley. In the old Wembley, you know? So I've been there. And the thing about it is, it's like, I've never fallen out of love with my team or I've I've become indifferent, yes, right? But I've always considered myself lucky that I saw the glory days. I saw the invincible, I saw the transition from from George to, to, to Arsene Wenger. Fam, George, George Graham was clapping up Premier Leagues. Like guys, not Premier Leagues, but you know. Um, he won two Premier Leagues. Yeah, he was clear. Yeah, he was clapping up Premier And FA Cups like nonsense. It was always 1-0, 1-0 oh, to the yeah. Arsenal. Yeah. But I've seen success, bro. I've seen the entire, the first bit of Arsene Wenger's reign. I've seen the, um, the bad bits as well. But now this new thing, it's beautiful. Let me tell you, G, like today, honestly, I thought about how I was gonna approach this show, right? Do I care that much about Saddam's nonsense, Naeem's 
easily uh, being influenced by Saddam's nonsense mm. and and joining that army of clowns, right? Right. Or do I just want to talk about the feeling that I have with Arsenal today? Like I've been in a space for both. There is space for both, but like the most important thing takes first precedence, and uh-huh. I, feel, I think that for me is how in love I am with this team. Like no, every I agree. single player, you feel like. You could be my brother. You could be my brother. You yeah. know, like I'll take care of you yeah. any way you want. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, yeah. You could be my yo- like. Bukayo Saka is thirty. Is uh, 22, 21, 22, right? Yeah. I'm thirty, turning thirty-one. So I'm around that age. G, we're all like yeah. that guy can be our youngest brother. You know yeah. that. And you can wrap your arm around him. And go like, hey, anything you want today. Yeah, 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 anything yeah, yeah. you want to. but also it's the energy bro like it's it's so different <laughs> it's so beautiful like seeing I know Saddam doesn't understand that because he doesn't feel that way towards his adopted club but um adopted adopted <laughs> um, the thing about it is it's like the energy coming out of Arsenal is so beautiful at yeah. the moment like you could almost touch it like for the first time in seven eight years I renewed, I renewed my membership like Watch I out. took my credit card out, swiped it, dun, 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 recruit my, so I'm now, yeah. I wish I hadn't stopped it because I'd have been like a platinum member by mm. now. So I've had to go back to the red level. No worries. But no now, worries. I mean, I f- don't feel badly about giving them my, I'm not getting anything out of it, but I feel like that little 50 pound or 30, it was actually 34 pound. It's part of the cause. It's it's part of the cause. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you, you're joining late. You're rejoining joining, you're rejo- no what do you mean rejoining well, oh, he'd cancelled if, if, no no before that he he, he said here confidently that he never he was going to inside the high bar but he knew the back door right uh-huh. <laughs> if yeah. if you had spent money then maybe even that's what his deal would have gone through yeah but I didn't have but money then but you were Maybe that's why his deal would have gone through. Didn't have money, but also I see what you tried to do there. But also the thing about it is, Cute. there's a book mm. Ian Wright's new book. Um, so I remember reading his autobiography because I'm a big Ian Wright fan. I, I read his autobiography years ago because when he just retired, his new book explains everything that was happening behind the scenes when and he and there's a line in the book where he says, "I wish Arsenal fans understood." what Wenger was going through when he couldn't buy players, when he was buying the funny fundus, the Bentner, c- the Gans, the, and the, the, Chamax, all those the guys. Man. He was like, yo, his hands were tied. And he goes, no other, he says, no other Premier League manager would have been able to have kept Arsenal in the top four the way Arsene did it with the, what he was given to work with. Do you think it's because they employ a lot of mandems at the ticket? Yeah, well, the <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the st- anyway, uh, this is a. Uh, is that what? No, but um, the one the Fabregas was talking about some of the work Mikel Arteta has done at the club, mm. and because he, you know, he joined back with the club as some coaching stuff, or I don't know. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, Fabregas. Even got Fabregas. I don't know if he's a coach, coach, but I saw that he was welcomed with the uh, Cesc Fabregas jacket, right. a number, Kila Kitu, right? Mm. Um, in the academy, and I think he was working with Jack Wilshire. I just saw a picture with him. Mm. A Chelsea uh, legend. Uh, sure. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, so he was saying Mikel Arteta's r- revamp of uh, of the Emirates and London Colney didn't is not just with the with some select players, mm. like the way he expanded the facilities, um, new gym equipment, new gym uh, gym methodologies, all this kind of stuff. Right. Mm. Um, right now, one of the youngest m- coaching uh, assistant coaches, rather coaching staff members is an Arsenal coaching staff. One sh- really short yeah. guy. Very short guy. I think he's like 24, 25 mm. thereabouts. Um, and he's completely rejigged everything. And that's finally starting to show three years on. Mm. Three years on, that's finally starting to show. So for me, it's like, I feel like what Mikel Arteta has gone through as a player and manager, he went through the really shit times mm. when people were being let off, when True. Arsene Wenger's standards were also dropped, mm. right? Um, when he had to work with that tight budget and all that stuff, mm. but then at the same time he 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 also took in the right things, the values of the club, what it meant to wear the the weight of the that's jersey. That's where I think he's won. Yeah, that, yeah, I think that's what he's done. And you know, mm. like I think he's completely internalized it. I mean, just listen to some of the things he, apparently he said when he retired at the Emirates. He said he told his wife, "I'm going to come back and manage this club." Like he was so in love mm. with the idea of having been an Arsenal player, he yeah. wanted to come back and manage it. Yeah. And get it back to where it was. And then in his first press conference as manager, 
it was right after we were beaten 3 0 to Man City, right? <coughs> he said there was something broken about the club. Yes, I there was something that. broken, and mm. he knew already how they could expose that. Mm. So he already knew what needed to be fixed, and he came in and credit to his man, man. Mm. He did it. When do we get to this Man United? Or is oh it? my God! Let's let's get right into it, man. Let's okay. get right into it because First that all, game. This is the one to um, TV experience. My name is G Money because <laughs> we didn't introduce ourselves. I yeah, we don't. Know. But I'll I'll introduce myself like this, bro. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> there we go! Oh yeah! There we go! Who's whose celebration is that, G? I think it's um Saka's. It's Saka's now. He's taking it's Saka's, Saka's now, Saka's, buddy. Saka's a fan, bro. <laughs> no, let me tell you. Know, like, it's fighting, it's fighting. CR7 was doing his, his suit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everyone else in the world. And then yeah, yeah. Did and they were like, oh, yeah. role model. Let, let same, me tell you. Same vibes, man. Saka, <laughs> Saka, Saka, is, Saka is mandem. Let me tell you why he's mandem. Because if you notice, when he scored in the game, uh, Man United versus Arsenal, Arsenal versus Man United, when he when he was celebrating, he was telling the guys, no, 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 no. Like, you was like, wait, 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 wait. He knew exactly yeah. what, what he was doing. And he was like, you know, do you know the England WhatsApp group must be must be But do you know, you know that in itself signifies such a big change at Arsenal. And let me tell you why. Do you remember when Lingard did his disco dance? Mm. Yeah. How dejected the Arsenal players were. Like just, just they, they just were blaming each other over and taking it's it. It's your fault. This is not. Yeah. My man's like, oh, you think you're coming to my stadium my with your celebration? No way, son. Guess what? Having that, that's now mine. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, what is so beautiful about both goals is that they're so similar, similar in a way. Yeah. But I feel like Saka's is harder. Yeah. He has to fight a lower block, right? It has to beat a guy right in front of him. Right. Whereas uh, Rashford had to get away from someone, and then he did. Let me tell you, had a clear wait, side of goal. Yeah, well, Rashford, Rashford, Rashford really had to do more. Party, he yeah, had he to do more. He was like one, one. Listen, more, yeah. he sent, he, he sent, the ball. he sent party to the shops. Yeah. He did. He, did. he was like, you go, <laughs> go and buy <laughs> some bread. And milk. That, <laughs> sent him to buffalo. Buffalo. Go buy some <laughs> buffalo. And, and that shot, you can't blame your keeper. But ours, we can blame the guy. You can't blame him for shit. That was side netting. Now I don't know about you, but side netting is a sign of accuracy. Like there's Accuracy. nothing you can do. You better in terms of. I don't want to hear it, bro. No, 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 no. Way, bro. Let me tell you why. He could have moved the speed faster. No, no, <laughs> no. Let me t- no. Let me tell you why. Said, um, Zoom is right because he did the exact same thing without accuracy and hit the post. Yeah. Like ten deflection. minutes later. It was. It didn't take deflection. It didn't take deflection. The one with the post. The no. Deflection. Oh my god. It did not. Game. Are you guys watching? It did not. That was refused. Okay. Wait, wait. Genuinely refused. No. I genuinely refused. Wait, you, you, you Jerry didn't see that? So what you're saying is, it, it, it took a deflection, it, it was going in initially. No, I mean, it was, it was going, going close straight. To so that means it was, it was going close straight. Okay. It was going in. All right. It was on target. Oh. That's I'll what you're that. saying. All right, fair enough. But, but what have we learned? What have we learned from, from, from that match? Because I think it was a really good game. And it, I think that from, from the Man United side, there was so much that we could unpack and we learned. There's a lot of positives. You know, a lot of positives. Lot. Like we, we, I, Arsenal, let me tell you, that was one of the hardest games that we've played. But when you strip it down statistically, it was the easiest. It was one of the easiest games. And it's so interesting. It's wild. It's Seriously, wild. It's wild. Yeah, if you look at like, the numbers, you'll be surprised. It like, doesn't look, the numbers lie. No, for the first time. You know what they call it? G. They call it when a scoreline flatters the, the teams. So. Stats, well, the, but the thing about it is, it's like, honestly, those stats are the kind of stats you see when somebody gets 4 0. Like, as in, in terms yeah. of. Passes inside the opponent's box in terms of um, accuracy, in terms of shots on target, in terms of whatever, assists, all this possession, stuff, whatever, possession, yeah. all those things. So it was so one-sided, but I did not see not, that. It was not one-sided. No, I, in I the stats, it. but in the game, I didn't see that. Yeah. But it, you know what? This is where I think those stats are accurate. Because in the last 20 minutes... Yeah, yeah, you really picked us, yeah. Arsenal, um, United couldn't live with Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't get out. Listen, we, ha- we had <coughs> we a plan. Out, it was bro. mad. No, no, we had a plan on how to win the game. Our plan was not trying to dominate position or trying to get more touches in the other box. We wanted to hit you on counters. Or just get an opportunity on a 1v1 and just expose you guys. And I think for the better part, we did that up until the last 90th, 90th minute. We could have gotten a point there and I could have said we deserved it. If we had a point, Not but really. it was it was either it was like either we draw, you guys uh, we each get a point mm. deservedly, or you guys win and genuinely you would have deserved three points. I really think also also if you guys also remember the first leg at Old Trafford, the stats were kind of the same when you you guys were on the ball a lot, mm. but 
we still gave you guys a competition. Mm. And funny that's enough, the same thing that's happened on funny on, enough, on first half. half. Mm. No, no, funny yeah. enough. I think for, the, for like the first half. No, no first half we were actually we were minutes, actually better. First we half. were in no, the game. Weren't. We were in the. You can't, have, had, you can't have been better. We were and better this, controlling the ball, these not are, necessarily these attacking, but controlling the ball in the middle of the park. We were much. You guys were composed in the first ten minutes of the game because you knew that we were going to start very quickly. Very, very. That's what I think you were. Okay, but you cannot tell me when XG stats. Are 1.01, no, 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 and this guy, no, 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 and then your no, stats no, are no, 0.09, no, no, no. right? I can't do the XG. XG. Like I, I want that's, that's things you have to look at. That's, that's just science. Episode. What do you like that's just science. Yeah, yeah. That's just science. Uh, expected goals. Oh, expected ex- that's what it is. So, for yeah. example, Edin Ketia's shots, the one David De Gea saved. Yes, that would have a very high XG number, whereas Rashford's shots from outside the box would have much lower. So oh, that's why they had, uh, how many shots did you guys have on target? Four? Yeah, four shots. One yeah. of them was, for example, Scott McTominay's. They were a lot mm. more efficient. Oh, that was almost, yeah. That, that was, was a party. You would have saved that. That was a good save. Well, I, you would have saved that. You came in a <laughs> that was very <laughs> party. Um, for me, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think this is in any way comparable to some of the progress that we made last season, mm. right? So, for example, remember the game we played against Manchester City mm. at the Emirates? Mm. We dominated Man City. Yeah. Possession wise, we lost. had more chances, but we lost. Right? Mm. These guys sat back and almost walked away with a point. Right, right. Uh, w- yeah, almost walked away with a point. Mm. That's what they did. Now, look. It's not the same. One thing that Eric Ten Hag said after they were beaten by Brentford was these players right now don't have the right belief or the right mentality. And we need right. to instill that in them. So, what they're showing is they're going to tough places, right? And they have the right belief. They, have, they do have a game plan. I'm mm. not denying this guy's game plan. I, mm. I agree with it. But in moments, it wavers a little bit. Right. So when the pressure keeps on piling and piling mm. and piling and piling, yeah. people start losing confidence. David De Gea, for example, there was a moment in like the last about 10 minutes. Where you remember where dived. Like, no, forget the dive. Even before that. There was a lot of pressure. They just kept losing the ball. We kept no, sending it back. It. Mm. Instead of holding it, he punched it. And I that saw was that, that was that was David De Gea going back to his like Default. just arrived from Atletico Madrid yeah, 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 yeah. times. You Default. know, like we sent him back in the past. Yeah, that's what Jimmy. we did. <laughs> Scott we McTominay thought he was still playing under academy football. Oh, but, by the way, like <laughs> listen, I I know that like I I really need to read this quote about Scott McTominay. Because there's been some amazing <laughs> articles uh, this week, and now that you mentioned Scott McTominay, we're reading articles, yeah. Back no, like, like back in 1917. No, 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 no. I'm taking you back to no, 1917. It's but an excerpt. This it's an is excerpt. An, an excerpt, right? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, this, this guy is talking about soccer, right? And he says he's now earned the level of respect that Mo Salah has, that Mo Salah had around the end of his season mm, at Liverpool. That's a yes, reach. right now the soccer is in that league. There was one nutmeg of Scott McTominay in the first half that was pure disdain. A move that said, what are you even doing here, mate? I wanted Casemiro. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I saw that not make- Sorry, sorry, but like that, that stuff we were talking about with Luke Shaw, for example, yeah. right? Like every single defender that's really come up against Saka has struggled. Yes. Both left backs now for United have struggled. Yes. And, and Luke Shaw, was well and truly one of the most informed left backs in the league. Mm. Not better than is, Zinchenko. Is. He's better than Zinchenko by far. Are you <laughs> mad? <laughs> now you're talking nonsense. You so know, far, so wait, good. Can I, can I, I'm a snitch. Uh, can I snitch? Uh, you know what these guys did? What? Last week. Uh, we did a combined 11. Right. They said Shaw over Zinchenko. Are you mad? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Is this way? Are you crazy? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, facts. Big facts. How? Big facts. It's it's had a what, over, the, over the last, even just, even if we just talk about availability. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. All right, availability. Availability. Show is more available. Yo, so let me ask you a question. Available. There are women. Sounds who, like you wanted too much. <laughs> anyway, let me not say that. But like I'm saying, right? <laughs> you're gonna get us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get a I remember the last time that went right. <laughs> so I'm, what I'm trying to say is not because something's available doesn't mean it's good. Do you know what I mean? No, as in. In terms of fitness, that's what I mean. So but he's been consistent, fitness, okay. But you can say he's been consistent. As, as a baller, ah, now, there is... As a n- baller, you don't hear Zinchenko being called Roberto Carlos and then Roberto Carlos co-signing it. Did you see Let's Robert, move on. Listen, Robert those old, swiftly. Robert those Robert old swiftly. footballers will <laughs> co-sign anything to stay relevant. <laughs> anyway, the day, like. um, just going back to the Saka thing, right? Mm. Saka, in my opinion, not only did he change his 
uh, approach in mm. the first half. In the second half, he went back to rinsing. Yes, he had Shaw on strings. Strings. He kept bro. telling him, "This is what I'm gonna do. And you're not gonna do nothing about mm. it." Like it was ridiculous, and you know what? As, as well, I, I feel like like I feel like Saka is one of those players that gives a lot of mouth on the play pitch. I feel like he's really getting in in these guys' head. I can I imagine. Think so. I think it's I think it's polite. I don't think so. You think he shows I don't it? think so. No, you think he shows it? If he does, he think, like no. So. If I he does, so. if he does, mm. do you think he shows it? I mean, it's always under the radar. <clears throat> I think under the radar. No, no. But see, the thing is, you so like know. he says, "Haha, fuck you, bitch." No, I don't like that. Like I can imagine him being like, "Yo, Luke, Luke." I'm gonna skin you next time, fam. <laughs> yeah, fam, yeah, I got yeah. this. Like, like, like he's telling his older brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You get me? Okay, that one. Not the now. sledging type. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna skin you. He goes, watch this. Watch no, this. But watch you really like players will tackle him and then like give him a hand. And I think people like him. It's not like, uh, like Anthony or Bruno, for example. Like uh, you generally can see players well, looks, like them. Anthony looks like a bootleg <laughs> South American yeah. villain. I don't Bro. know what you're talking about. That guy looks like. Bro, listen. You know what? Someone said to me. No, actually, I saw it on socials today. Pepe is better than Anthony. Nah, nah, that's cap. That's that's. No, I'm not that's lying. Cup, that's cup, that's I'm cup. not lying. <laughs> Output wise, bro, that's you cup. can't nah, compare. Nah, bro. Nah. And he can score free kicks. Nah. Bro, he can score with his nah, right. Nah, bro, I'm having that like, that's bro, that's I'm serious. serious. I'm having. I'm, I'm serious. Serious. discussing tweets here, bro. No, no, <laughs> that's all <laughs> you do. <laughs> all we do is discuss your tweets. <laughs> <laughs> bro, no, I want you guys to think about what that, that no, no, actually no, no, no. means. I'm, I'm genuinely not thinking And he's uh, 18 million pounds cheaper. Like, <laughs> like, no. just, like he's much more value for money. Fam. Oh, fuck off. No, no but I'm seriously, telling. seriously, let's just going back Whoa. going back to like some of the stuff. What what I did appreciate about United is the way they broke out in the in the in the few times that they did, mm. right? They won their corner. Then yeah. you know they needed a mistake from us, and they got the shortest guy to score ahead. That's amazing. Hey, Tim Cahill, man, talk to him yeah, about it. Yeah. He's very good at that. So yeah, like the guy it was doesn't like, matter your height, like, bro. As in, what's his name? <laughs> Lissan- Lissandro was Lissandro Martinez. With another big performance. I mean, guys yeah. were chatting shit about his height. No. I don't know how this guy was taking it. I mean, <laughs> what? support your fellow short people. But anyway, big Zinchenko is also yeah. short. Big performance from Martinez, bro. No, I think he was very mm. good. Very good. Was but, but you see, like, why I'm so happy we didn't pay 60 million for him mm. is because... You paid 50 for Ben White, so okay, fine. Ben yeah, but, uh, but Ben White's amazing. <laughs> That's why he was subbed after half time. No, he had no, no, a yellow no. card. By the way, he was rinsed at half time. No, 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 no. He was your worst player. That's honestly, and then Martinelli. Honestly, I, you haven't mentioned Martinelli, yeah, by the way. Martinelli is no. ineffective. You have this, not mentioned wait, Martinelli because about, they always wait, forget about our own. Let's focus on Lissandro. Let's Lissandro. finish with, with Ben White, right? First of all, and Lissandro, right? <laughs> ben White, um, A, yes, taken off as on a yellow card, but also was having a bad game. And that's what managers do. He was you not having a bad game because he was having a bad game. He was having a bad game because the players he was playing against exactly. was making him have a bad game. I, I get Same it. Same as Martinelli. You can't say Martinelli had a bad game. Bisaka had a very decent game. Yeah, I know. I get that. So what do you do if one of your guy, if 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 your if your guy, your right back's having a bad, you replace him. Yeah, no. And I mean, once once Tommy Yasu, who you always laugh about. You always make it like you. Someone's going to their bench <laughs> to get Tomiyasu. This guy gives Tomiyasu such a hard time, but right? Does. But he got the fam. First, the first opportunity, Rafa no, dribble, dribble, dribble pass and then once, once, and that's where it ended. And that's where it ended. That's the where it ended. ended. He that's shut, shut it ended. Ended. Why he do you think the supply down. ended? Uh, no. Mark Tomiyasu McTominay stopped giving Rashford the ball. Yeah, and also Eriksen. So McTominay's uh, playmaking skills were being yes reduced should, by Odegaard. Yes. Being, <laughs> being run nah, over. so why I'm so happy we didn't sign now Lisandro Martinez because we were only willing to go up to 40 m, mm. right? Um, and then we're like, oh, okay, you guys want to act like he's the next big thing in the world? Mm. Sawa, so just go and pay for him. 67 m. Yeah. That's what you guys paid yeah, in add-ons. We went and pivoted and got Zinchenko for 32. Right. And we were never going to play uh, Martinez as a center back. We're always going to play him as a left back. But I guarantee, in as much as I think he still would have been effective, mm. he never would have been able to do what Zinchenko does. could do. I don't think there's any left back I, that can do I think what Zinchenko does right yeah, now. Not even Cancelo, nobody. Yeah, none of them. No, no full back can do what he does. You people are so after after one minute no killing out. No, bro, this is to, this uh, is haram. This is not just this game. <laughs> Cancelo and Lisandro uh, Martinez. Uh, That's not what. No, this no, is not just this game. By the way, this is this game, the last game, and just seeing. Look at his heat map, bro. He was everywhere. He was like, how is that? What, what's good about that being all over the pitch? You see, when Fred is marking Martin Odegaard, right, and then Martin Odegaard goes somewhere else. Fred is left. N- not knowing what to do, he finds Zinchenko in front of him. He's like, Allah, 
what the hell are you doing on this side? And then where's Martin Odegaard? Somewhere around the pitch, probably free mm. and dictating play. You understand? Give me a footballing reason, nah. Saddam. Give me a footballing reason, nah, Saddam. Nah, 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 nah. You don't nah. want to do that? Okay, fine. <laughs> um, so now, for example, right? I, I saw a lot of chat about how United fans were suggesting that this guy is not being backed. Eric Ten Hag. Now, mm. listen. I'm not saying I agree with him. Mm. Right? And I'm not saying I fully disagree. Mm. What I'm saying is, instead of paying 100 million for... Anthony pivot and find another effective winger mm. for 50 60 mm. instead of paying 67 million for Martinez pivot and find another center back no. for 30 40 no, 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 no. No, you might have some money left in the bank now you're signing Lisa, po- white man's white man's Giroud like, I'm sorry I, I don't know what you're talking Six, about the, the 67 million, million spent, loan oh, that's all no, you no, had no, no, no. on offer for a Burnley reject so it doesn't listen the window, is, window is not yet over I relax know, relax we, we're really, not you really no, no, said it in the you, wrong way man Listen, we've now, spent yeah. 67 on so. Lissandro <laughs> and that money is well spent our defense has never been as solid in the last four years he came in and changed everything I wouldn't say Even that. with Varane last Even season, we had ma- we had Varane and we were still shit. I wouldn't shit. say that. Even no, in terms no. of passion I, and desire. I'm saying that. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No, passion. And courage. Passion and this desire. Is desire. You, you, oh, you can't even have to defend. Have you not sold um, All these Maguire yet? All these guys have, so, uh, has bought, like, have, have you guys sold Maguire yet? We the reason why about things. Even your own legend was waxing guys. lyrical yesterday about Ten Hag. Guys. The reason why Maguire is not in the, in the picture is because we signed a better player. My right. boy, yes, so wasted money there. Yeah. Anthony, yeah, maybe you can... Of course you maybe. did. Of course you did. Ajax pages all around on Twitter are laughing Snick. at how much money they've rinsed the oh, fuck out of you trust guys. Trust me. They're Ajax. laughing. There's a page Ajax. called I- AFC Ajax, right? This guy is like, he's got in the nose, yeah. everything, right? He kept saying, like, I still can't believe these idiots are going to pay 100 million for Anthony. You d- yeah. And and you could they've, have signed Mohamed Kudus. They've won, right? They've With won. a bit more scouting, you could mm. have signed Mohamed Kudus. It would have been even much more effective. Mm. Much more suited to the league. That same Ajax have won one game in the last 10 games. And how does that ref- well, Exactly. We took the best players. It, it was no, worth you know, it. You know what it is? Here's, here's the thing. And this is something From winning that, the league. This is something that, now what? This is something that I find very interesting. Where would you say the irrevidacy, what it's called? How yeah. in terms of the the European leagues where is it is it number one number two number three number four Probably number five six I think I six think right fourth. so number one no, we, we agree it's Premier League yes then probably La Liga yeah, yeah. then Syria then the oh, Farmers no. League which is French yeah. I, I needed to be specific Germany French. or okay. <laughs> oh yeah and then Ge- maybe Germany five yeah I would put Germany over French you put Germany over French yeah okay so French. then uh, oh, French. <laughs> so that means it, 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 what is called yeah, yeah. that is by the minimum it's the sixth yeah, yeah. best league in Europe right yeah. yeah now think about this you guys mm-hmm. have bought a star from the sixth best league no, we, we that's that's no this th- let me go this is like you guys have gone to the Sunday league in the UK mm-hmm. and found a gem dusted off and polished it mm-hmm. but it didn't cost you any money you get me you've spent top league money mm-hmm. on sixth status league player mm-hmm. now here's the thing i don't even want to diss the erivedisi what it's called mm. because your manager won the erivedisi for nonsense like five ten times six times okay <laughs> four times so the the, the grand land, point land, is land, i want you to land the grand let point finish, bro. let me finish the grand point is this bro you guys are traded i traded way further down the the scale than than the big boys you get me No, I don't. Listen. <laughs> let, me, let me answer. Let me answer. Okay, answer. That Ajax team featured in the Champions League semi-finals two seasons in a row. That's uh-huh. why these players. Two are seasons in a row. Yeah, My in ass! Row, What do you mean two okay, seasons one, in a row? One was a quarter. And that was 2017, bro. No, both of them are Eric Ten Hag teams. Bro. Get him, Zoom. Both What do you mean? Hakim Ziyech, Frankie De Jong. Yeah, that whole disbanded. team was disbanded. Disbanded. These are these but, are the kids. But, kids coming to play. What are you talking about? Anthony, before he came, before before the season he joined us. The, the season before Eric Ten Hag joined us, they reached the Champions League, what level? 
What stage of the Champions League? It right? wasn't them. It was them. No, that was three no. years after. No, 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 no. You're they crazy. Were, they, they, they didn't even sign the best winger when they should have. Mm. David Neres would have been a better winger. <laughs> Where is he now? He's it doesn't matter. He's it doesn't, that's, that's, that's what happens. You see, that's <laughs> why, for example, <laughs> you see someone like Lokonga playing for mm. Arsenal, right? And then also you see someone like, um, what's this uh, holding midfielder from PSV? Very good. PSV? Renato Sanchez. No, PSV, PSV. Oh, PSV. Yeah. Holding midfielder. I can't remember, but someone like him doesn't get to get that chance to play at, right. at a top club like Arsenal. And it's just destiny. In but maybe a way. he needs to change his hairstyle. Maybe he does. Yeah, you know. Maybe he does. Maybe like, Anthony's got his hairstyle is noticeable. No, like, he doesn't. Yeah. You, yo, yo, you, you guys are gender. We got Ten Hag, Anthony, and Lisandro. Ten Hag won one of the manager of the month. Uh, month. Alessandro got my player of the month. Mm. Uh, at one point, no, we were at, at one point you we were in the competition for the race. We are now not, maybe. At one point, can I remind shut, you how long that was? Shut the fuck up. It was about last week, yes. my guy. I said one point. Last I didn't, I didn't week. say two points. <laughs> <laughs> I said one point. Like four days. Do you know what's that wild? These guys had a title challenge, bro. It's, it's not, mad. No, but bro, do you know what's wild? Like <laughs> looking at the, the Premier League and seeing like that we're like 20 points clear of. 21. Of Chelsea, 21, of 21. Liverpool, and Chelsea. Uh, Liverpool, Chelsea. 21. 11 points Crazy. clear of United. Is it 11 points? Hmm? Only 11. Listen. With a game in hand? No, you're losing game in hand. Point is. I saw, I saw, sorry. I saw someone state that right now Arsenal's winning the league because the state of competition in the Premier League has dropped. It right? is true, though. Right. But Arsenal have more points than City had at this stage last season. Mm. And City also have more points than City had at, last, this at this last stage last season. Do you know the meaning of... The, Which do, means do you know they're the performing of, better mm. and we're performing than they were performing better mm. last season. No, do you know the meaning That's of standards insane. being dropped? Huh? What is the meaning of standards being dropped? What? Meaning there, no. is, there is less competitive teams. When there is less competitive teams, That's you get more saying. points. Look, you get more points when there is less competitive teams. You're, you're, no, you're no, actually... No, no. That's you know an what? own goal. Fam. How is that an own Wait, goal? That's an own goal. If we have... If we have 18 horrible teams this season, you'll have more points than wait, you had last season. Wait, guys. If, if you have less points, that means the competition was strong. No, S- all Sadam, we've done no. is replace last season's Arsenal United with Liverpool and Chelsea. That's literally <laughs> no, it. No, Newcastle's come in and become the, the new West Ham for this season. Yes, the this fact season. that you guys so have At more some point, West Ham was like third or fourth, yes. right? Challenging for the, the uh, top City, four spaces. The fact Tottenham were still there. Right. Tottenham were top of the table. At right. some point, at last some season, point, yeah. Tottenham no, were top of the table. No, 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 zoom, 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 you're talking shit. Let's see your point. Shit. Man City, the fact that Man City had more points this season than last season, and they're struggling now, that shows you that the competition has dropped this season. Wait, no. Um, how could they have more points at this stage, this season, than last season, but then they're struggling now? They're struggling now? What? what what, what, are you watching the game? No, explain how they're struggling now. The, because they, there are so many games that they should have won, they haven't won, that they feel they should have won. Last season, yes, they had less points. Haven't they lost? Like, haven't they, they, they've lost the same amount of games they lost for the entire season last so se- far. Last season, last season, the, they they um, they had they played us twice, right? Mm-hmm. They beat us twice. Mm-hmm. That's Sour. usual. Usual, yes. But we <laughs> beat them this season. Uh-huh. Sour. Uh-huh. They feel to them, oh they feel like they should have won this season. They, they, they should have been going to, to Chapa this season. Oh, really? I get a game against Brentford. Yes. They, mm. they, so they, doesn't they, that mean beating. then that the league is more competitive? No, yeah, more competitive. But they, yeah, that's no. an own goal. Yeah, no, 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 the okay. league is more competitive. <laughs> Everton, <laughs> Everton, who are in the relegation zone, can be anyone. Got a draw at the Etihad. Yes. With a Holland freak. Uh, robot man Yes That scores How many go- How many goals is he on He's right on now 25 25 He scored in that game But they still uh, managed that's Isn't how, that that's more competitive That's how low the standards have been There's a player with 25 goals <laughs> No bro No just, don't, 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 don't try that's shit on Haaland Don't try and shit on Haaland Listen listen can I, can can I, can I, no, I said weeks, in bro. big games He makes them struggle Can, a I, bit. can I say something <laughs> And this is This is the honest The honest Very honest And very very um, Genuine right For the entire season Guys have just looked at ways, looked for ways to discredit what's happening at Arsenal. And it's football, it's banter, I get it. You're not supposed to wake up one day and say, I love Arsenal, if you don't have that level of self-awareness. It's fine, it's okay, I get it, right? But now, it's one of these ones where it was wait until the World Cup. Then it was wait until after the World Cup. Then it was wait till Christmas. Then it was wait till New Year's. 
Then it was wait till January. By by right? by April. Right? By <laughs> April. Now, uh, now, it's now. Not, by the way, the goals were being wait, shifted a lot yeah, earlier. But now, but now, it's the league is <laughs> not as. Have you seen the now? Have you seen like, where, does it, where does it stop? Okay. Well, <laughs> agenda side. There is a huge difference in Arsenal between now and last season. You guys are playing so much better. There's We're no, playing I, the best football I, in the world right oh now. Oh my god, are you okay? No, listen, no, I have to be <laughs> honest. Right? This, uh, despite the, the quality of the league going down, you guys are playing really well. Uh-huh. So, uh, it, you, by, that's why you're number one. You'd be number one if the league was shit. Gee, the first time we played, you guys, I even tweeted. We won against the super team today. Mm. You guys are super team. And we're better now than we were then. So now, it's, yeah. now you're now properly sucking. That's unnecessary. You I, I'm say that. going off of what you just said. No, 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 just no, no, no there's a limit. Bro. I said, bro, let's like, super team. team. You didn't tell him where the limit was. Yeah, come on. Oh, my goodness. What I, I love it. What I love. You know, I saw, I saw a tweet today. Some Twitter tactical guy, right? Tip to bro. Talking about um, how compact Arsenal are, right? Mm. Now, to anybody's mind, if you're thinking about the compactness, is how they do inside their own box, how they defend, right? But that's not what he was talking about. He was talking about how compact we are in pinning defenses in their own right. final space, defensive yeah. third, right? Because every time they clear it, we're on the ball again. Yes. Every time they clear it again, we're on it again. Mm. Even the 50-50s, we're yeah. winning so that's them. not rocket science. We've seen teams do that. Okay, Why, right. So we're talking right. about the first Game time them Arsenal press, press all I get it. It's but fantastic. That was, that was what Ragnik was doing for the first two games right. at United. Ragnik? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. The godfather of the, the Gegen Press. The godfather of Gegen Press. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Remember wait. that? No, no, but you, you can't uh, saying, oh, we, we're pressing, oh, we are compact. We've seen that I before. There's episode. nothing new you're doing. No, That's no it is. It's, wait. it's fucking brilliant. Wow. You know our formation when we attack? It's a two, three, five. There's only one thing I want to wow. say before we, like, I only came here to say one thing. Huh. You said a lot. And I had a profound, yeah, I'm sorry. I've tried to be quiet, but okay. I can't. <laughs> Fam, everyone is saying, Oi, but by the way, Arsenal still have to play Man City. Twice. That's what, twice. I want you guys to know and this. And Liverpool at Wait, uh-huh. let me Let me finish this. Okay, okay, okay. And this is your quotable. You see the same way, that quotable by Eddie Nketiah? This is, your quote, this is your quotable that you can cut up and send forward. It's not that Arsenal have to play Man City twice. It's that Man City have to play Arsenal twice. That's where it is right now. That's what I want to say, with, with, bro. With, 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 okay, right. okay. With what context? Like, what okay, do you mean? What context? You've been finishing. You, with, fi- you finished with, eighth and eighth and sixth for the last. Fifth. Like years. I said, fifth. Okay. You were not, sixth. You were this sixth. season. So why? Well, when well, you're talk- listen for this season, when you're talking about the same way how you said Liverpool's um, uh, midfield became old and whatever, whatever, you're dealing with you're dealing with a side that believes in itself in the way that Man City used to believe in themselves. I am telling you for a fact, yo, Man City are dope, a good, great team, you know, <laughs> when they're on, 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 City on, thing. Dope. They're chilling. Yeah, they're, they're, they're doing their thing, right? Their but thing, yeah. what I'm gonna say to you is this, this season, it's different, different. And Man City versus Arsenal, I'm like, maybe I'm shooting this early, uh-uh. but I'm gonna say to you this, Man City in one of those games at least are gonna be dismantled. We're beating Arsenal. them at home. That's on Friday. At home, we're finishing. That's FA Cup. Don't forget that. It's a good like. It's, it's a good litmus test to see where. No one cares about it. So you play them you three times. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, can't wait. Times. I actually, I'm so excited. Because yeah. so, it's also gonna be a mental, a mental thing. Whoever comes out on top on Friday. Do you know? Friday, right? Do you know? Have you seen what guys are saying about Zinchenko? They're saying that when at the start of the season, guys were like, you know, um, aiming for Champions League, and he said as the season's progress, Zinch has been telling these guys, listen, can I swear? Yeah, yeah. Stop fucking around about top four. You can win this shit. Like telling guys in the chain, stop this talk about top four and Champions League. Top three you or some shit, yeah. You I can think, win this I think, shit. I think Zinchenko is, is playing a long ball. I think he wants to be the president of Ukraine. Fam, <laughs> wait, wait. I genuinely, you've you got to be talking all this time. I'm glad you, I'm That glad. current president is a comedian. He's showing a lot I'm, of leadership, I'm right. glad <laughs> you mentioned Ukraine because Arsenal did not have to donate to the Ukraine cause, but we are going to win the Premier League <laughs> for Ukraine. <laughs> there you go. Now we are though. Uh, wow, they'll defend I want to ask you a question. Medals, eh? I want to ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to ask you a question. Can I read a quote? Saddam, how ask was me, it? Ask me a question. How was <laughs> it accommodating two of Eddie Nketiah's goals? Honestly? <laughs> I think that's it. You said I, I was he accommodating uh, Eddie Nketiah for how many years? Uh, Seven years. Yeah. 
And then he also said that he's playing against two World Cup winners. But those are fucks, though, right? So he scored a goal for each World Cup winner. That was funny, Jana. It's still funny today. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. I'm finding it hilarious. I'll say it again. <laughs> we didn't get ya. Oh, get ya! We didn't get ya. I'm saying this. in trouble. Your defense is in trouble. I trust, I trust my manager. Bias, Implicitly, man. right? And I'll be honest with you, right? There's something that Arteta said after Hestos was injured when he was like, yo, Eddie will have to step up and show what he can do, what we know he can do. When I heard that, I was like, you know what? This man knows something that we've not had a chance to see with um, Eddie. Fam, positionally and his runs, <clears throat> Eddie is a hard worker. He He's like, you see guys look like, oh, you know, Hessus, he drops back, he does this, da 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 And Ketty is doing all of that. But do you know what's Nketi is um, superpower right now? None of you lot take him seriously. No one, who's gonna man mark Nketi? That's true. Who's gonna rule him out of the Not game? Lissandro. Who's gonna do this? Who's gonna yeah, do that? But okay, so you're saying we think he's shit. That's why he's That's basically, to that's basically. And Fine. guys are not seeing him as, as a threat. Once we start marking him, khalas. <laughs> Guys, well, are, guys are focusing on Saka and Martinelli and, 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 Martinelli Odegaard. and Odegaard. And let me tell you, the funny thing about it is, I can see it. it's like, because of that, him, he doesn't need, he's not Thierry Henry, he's not Gabriel Hessus. But if you think about these um, ballers from, there were players who scored so many goals who weren't necessarily gifted, all that gifted technically. And Ian he's not Wright. bad. Huh? Ian Wright. Ian Wright Don't ever say that. Are you mad? Yeah. Are you mad? I'll walk up this podcast now. If you that's say any stupid, in right bro. slander, are you mad? That's actually he was stupid, just a spit bro. merchant. <laughs> like, are you say, say wallahi, I mean that. Look at that camera and say that. Say wallah, I mean say that. Say it. That's what I say thought. Say it. That's what I thought. Right. That's what I thought. Because if you say that, I'm saying Maldini was just a decent okay, defender me, in a very defensive league. Okay, okay, okay. okay. If, if, you're not, if you didn't know, if they were playing naked, would you notice between Wiltord and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, right. What the hell? <laughs> that, what do you mean? <laughs> you know the what, Sadam? That might be the most Sadam thing you've ever said. Like, and that's the thing. He's gonna do another one next <laughs> week. <bro. laughs> no, you can't. You can't, fam. You cannot slander Ian. I've Wright. never seen. He hasn't scored a Waldi. <laughs> You, you never actually watch, You know, for all those times you tell me I started watching football 2006, wow. I can't believe I know this and you don't. Okay, tell me. The reason there this are so... This guy taught uh, Eric Canton how to dink the keeper from outside the, the reason, box. That's how good he was. So. The reason there are so many black fans in the Arsenal stands now is because primarily of Ian Wright. Ian Wright, David Rowe, Castle, Lem Among the first... He among the first black players. As you know, even him, Kevin Campbell, those guys were one of the first set of Mandem footballers okay, Jamaican heritage not necessarily yeah Jamaican heritage but also like as in but I used to play Sunday league football with this oh, guy yeah. he's, he's a builder mm. same thing I say about Vardy Vardy is the most common guy you can find yeah. <coughs> sorry more relatable so, than like, yeah yeah than more relatable the and, he, and, and guys bought into that but as a baller Ian Wright was a baller bruv proper I mean the standards goals skills techers everything would, would he start in this United team of course. Yeah, you would. Who would he bench? Oh, easy. Huh? You have white horse, Who would he bench? Easily. I don't know if you remember. No, if everyone would, is fit. Okay. Including Martial. Even Naeem's woman. Would he bench? Would he bench Martial? He's tired. Would bench oh, would he? What? He would, he would, he would. My voice is would gone. Bench, Listen, wait. He would bench Martial. So anyway. Did he just say would Ian Wright bench Martial? Are you mad? Are you gonna, are well, you gonna? Okay, one question. I don't wanna one, one, one question, last question. Did Ian Wright have a Ballon d'Or clause in his contract? <laughs> Exactly my point. You know what? Like Has Martial ever been top scorer of the league? Huh? Huh? He, he hasn't retired. Has he ever been top scorer of the league? He hasn't retired. He's I been have, there six years, bro. It doesn't have, matter. I Patient space, bro. Six years. Ian Wright did it in three. Patient I space. Am okay, fine. Ooh, speed refuting marcher. stress. I am not going to allow Saddam no, to raise see, my blood pressure. No. No, fam. All right. Let's, prefer, let's get prefer, into now. I prefer Kanu, to be honest. <laughs> Kanu had a better touch and was composed. And he just didn't like running around. Nice, nice, nice. I'm That's happy dope. for you, or whatever it is happened for you. Sorry, it happened. 
Bro, I'm not listening. I'm stopped. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, fine. It's fine. All right. So that pretty much wraps up Chelsea, Liverpool. That's it. There's nothing. Rap, Chelsea, Liverpool. They played football on Saturday. That wraps up that game. Yeah. What well, he tried. It was at Anfield, right? No, no one uh, even remembers. Couldn't tell. Couldn't Anfield even tell. Was I, think. It, I don't know. It was Anfield, by the way. It and was Chelsea Anfield. had so many chances. Chelsea had more clear cut chances than Liverpool. Unfortunately, I watched the game. Unfortunately. What do you think of um Murdrick's couple of touches? I think he's I think he, he he's confident for his age in the environment. I yeah. think him there was a chance where he was I saw that. I think he's better than Anthony. I think so. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Like far better than Anthony. I agree. Like he miles, has, and miles and miles. Like if we're being realistic about what Anthony should have costed, maybe 40 million, which was the initial asking price if you just asked a year, a year earlier. But then Mudrick, yeah, you'd be like, "Okay, maybe 70 million." Because that kid is fast. I genuinely think you guys were were dumb enough not to add that five, six, ten million. It's fine. I think Trossard is a great signing. He looked like wow. Santi Cazorla. You saw him when he but dribbled past like yeah, four, five guys, four yeah. United. Two two you know, you know, you know, he's not a future signing. He's cheap. <laughs> you guys, you guys signed Casemiro no, for no, thirty. No, no, no. How, how old is he? Thirty-one, and he's, they signed him for sixty. You compare Casemiro. Casemiro has five Champions Leagues. What are how many Premier League goals does Casemiro have? More, more than Trossard. How many with his left? More than party. No, he doesn't have goals more than Trossard. Let's, let's not be ridiculous. More than party. More than party. Party has two goals, created. I think. Trossard is a good sign. He's a fantastic sign. I Honestly, don't think he's, he's, no, he is a good plan B. I'm and not it's saying. And also, like, in terms of like being game ready, like, you come in today, we're putting you on tomorrow. Really But he was playing go. week in, week out. I don't think that's what I'm saying. To to like, he will always be. He ready. doesn't need to learn the game. You no, know, most players would be fit enough to play if they are signed tomorrow. Even Modric played and he came. They had a break, I think, in Ukraine or something. I doubt, I doubt Anthony gets to Trossard's levels in the Premier League. Well, Trossard, for example, Trossard. Trossard Premier League ready. Trossard has banged yeah. every top six club. Mm. Scored a hat trick with his left foot, only left foot against Liverpool at Anfield. And he's a right footed player. He's a right footed player. You see, Santi Cazorla vibes. <sighs> um, six of his seven goals this season have come from his left foot. Mm. He's banged City, banged Chelsea. You saw what he did to Kepa Arizabalaga this season. Uh, mm. He's banged Arsenal last season. He did that right. to us. Um, with a gem. I mean, I don't know. Like, he's a big season. game. Mm. No, we banged him. Remember, four two, bro. I, 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 you know, I kind of see him as a kind of player that, nice that um, yeah. even though he's on the periphery of the of the Belgian squad, right? It's just that the media has focused on players that the media think are better than him. It's like Mikel Arteta when he was playing football, mm. like. At he, Everton, at uh, Everton or even when he before he came to Everton, he was average football player. Oh my no. God! Let's not get there. No, Mikel Arteta no. was, was so mean. He, oh he would never he start in your team right now. He would he never start in your team nice right now. He, he doesn't bench Odegaard. He doesn't bench Jaka. He doesn't bench. He would have benched Jaka. He can does I, not bench. Can, can, I, very gifted. can I finish? I'm saying. Stakhrullah. I think I read Jaka more than that. Jeez. I don't know what he said, but it sounded violent. So um, so I'm Jacob saying, broke. right, Arteta was just around at a time when there were better players than him. No, but li- listen, for Spain. And Trussard is for in Spain. The, yeah, for Spain. No, no, 100%. And Trussard oh. was in that, is in that same bubble. It's just no, that there are better, no, no, I, considered no, better, Trussard, better players. No, Trussard came out late. I think he, he popped out when he was 25. Yeah. The majority, the majority of the Spanish team, the, uh, rather the Belgium team that are playing right now, most of them when they were kids, like uh, mm, yeah, Lukaku and De Bruyne and uh, what's his name, the Leicester guy, Leicester kid. Like most think, of them. Do you think, do you think there's a conspiracy? What do you mean? No, he was. Uh, he no, no, was no, no, not with Belgium, with Trossard and the way we signed him, because this guy had no issues for the past three years. You haven't heard mm. anything about him, right? Mm. Then somehow the news comes out that uh, Albert Stevenberg, the assistant coach for Arsenal, mm. he managed him at Genk. Wow. Then this guy doesn't come back from the World Cup or some shit, doesn't come back for training, yeah, yeah, yeah. suddenly has all these issues, one year left on his contract, with an o- well, actually six months with an option to yeah, extend, yeah. and then that deal is done in 24 hours. 24 hours. I think there's something there. And, I think we did something there. And we didn't have to go to a, a war-torn country. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you did, <laughs> but you were given the wrong. You were given the wrong address. No, <laughs> we went to you sign. You, you went we signed there. Jakob. <laughs> you, you we went to sign the World Cup center back. I'm living right. with something, huh? I'm yes. living with something. <laughs> we went to sign the World <laughs> Cup yeah. center back. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like more, more on that media thing and uh, the Belgium squad. Like for this World Cup, they started with Hazard, 
Um, and I felt like they should have started with Trossard instead. Mm. And I just felt it's because... Why would you bench Hazard? Because Hazard, Hazard has been mid the last three by years the way, compared to <coughs> what Trossard has been doing. I, I, know, it's, it's it's like, like, I know it's slightly um, off, off, off center, but what went wrong with Hazard? Like, what actually happened? Like, I his last... Huh? He had how many injuries in, in Madrid? More than 10. Injuries and weight, weight gain. I think it's desire, man. Some people desire. have that desire to keep going. Do you remember when that Rooney got fat? Yeah. Same thing, but he had to work it off eventually. Yeah, honestly... Yeah, he was played left back. So mm. he runs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the desire. I think it's, it's desire. You've won everything. <laughs> oh man, that's true. No, but um, Eden Hazard, man. I don't know. I think also like he stopped doing squats, so he couldn't shield the ball anymore. Mm. He, what do you mean? That's <laughs> literally the only thing he had. <laughs> yeah. No, but it, now he was more jiggly, so he just bounced off the guy. <laughs> Which is even better because the defenders are actually bouncing <laughs> off of it. You don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna fucking hit a far one. Anyway, um, yeah, Man City. So Holland scored a hat trick against uh, relegation threatened Wolves, and guys are like, "Oh, suddenly the theory is not working." Mm. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I still think that I still think that um, Holland makes Man City a worse team. Yeah, he makes them more predictable. More predictable. That's the word. Yeah, he just makes more them more predictable. More, no, predictable. Not, not a worse team, a more predictable yeah, team. Yeah, more predictable. In team. the same way how Ronaldo scored 16 goals last season for Man United, but made them a worse team. Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of see Haaland the same way. Not taking anything away from his talent. He's like, he's a predator par excellence. He's, 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 he's dope. I just think that Pep needs to find more creative ways to use him. I, I, I think Pep is, if, if there's anyone that should trust to find ways of Adapting at him. Do you think he should do more of what Harry Kane does? Like drop back into play, join the. Join does the he have that he skill? Doesn't have, he doesn't have yeah. much in him. I think he can. Because you see, Harry Kane. He doesn't have the brain. And you know, I think that's a part of Harry Kane's game that people don't credit yeah. enough. Yeah. That dropping back deep and being able to play that through ball saying, and stuff. Like, yeah. You're not giving him enough credit because you just assume that everybody can do it, but not yeah. every striker does. But it. and also, I'm glad you mentioned Harry Kane. How. Like, how is he planning to stay at Spurs for the rest of the You saw that. Ridiculous. That's madness. Because I, I genuinely thought next season it's like... Man United. Man United. It makes so I much sense. Fam, what do you mean? He would make no, your team so much better. I don't understand Fam, what you're talking about. Because we've been signing stopgap strikers for the last... But Harry Kane can perform for the years. next three years. He wins you the we league. We don't want three years performance. We want Aussie men and we want a five year, six Bro, year. Bro, listen, no. Let Aussie me tell you, if Alex Ferguson He's was still in charge at Man United, Kane would have been a United player by now. No, no, I, I no, swear, no, no, I swear no, to God, you. Because no, he's done, like, done that with Arsenal, yeah. with Robin Van Persie. He's yeah. done that with so many strikers. How old man. is he now? He's like 30. 28, is he 30? 30, 30. He's turning 30 this year. How do you stay at Spurs when you're 30? I think he, I think, I think there's a conspiracy there. And Waste he's, seen, man. he's seen Mourinho come, he's seen Conte come, he's seen all these big And guys now come it's and confirmed that Conte is leaving at the end of the season. <laughs> and you know what else is confirmed, G? Declan Rice, man. He wants to come to the Emirates. He does? He does. I don't that's, that's a massive you sign. Make yeah. this, this I don't think he improves you. I'm league, sorry. Man. Huh? I don't no, think no, you're going to make this league a How? farmer's league, bro. By getting all the best players. What, what, what are you saying now? What do you mean? Out. This right. is like our first ever big coup, uh, man. Uh, what's your jinga time? It's not even that. It's like end of the day. That no, stop. Why you guys wanted us to suffer forever? <laughs> yeah. Like You guys wanted to sign Mudrik. I mean, imagine imagine them taking off Martinelli. You know, I think what the perception of Arsenal owners has been is that these guys have never wanted to spend, right? Yes. But, I mean, if you look back at it now, yes, they had 60% of ownership at, at the club, but I guess they only wanted to spend their money mm. when it was at 100% ownership of the club. Because mm. then they also make all the profits. Yes, true. You know, when they do eventually I, sell yeah. the club, if they do. I, I, I think that, you know, regardless of who you support, whether you're a United fan or a Chelsea fan or whatever, I think that's in the name of football. And in the name of just being honest, fam, you can't look at this Arsenal side this season and see anything other than domination. And if you do, for you're just years. biased. You're cra- Like if I was another, like for for example, it's like honestly, domination. Pep, you said domination. Domination, yeah. And you have Tommy Asu in your squad. I'm sorry, <laughs> no, never. <laughs> and you have Tommy. Now let's be realistic, G Money. You have. Um, so we, is it, wait, 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 what is, what is it with you? Is uh, it just if you hear like a funny name that you're not used to outside of the Somali culture? That's where like you find it. So, so, so uh, what do you mean? You're like, being racist now. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a racist yeah, comment. That is a racist comment. I'm being very racist uh, so because what, why uh, are you attacking my player racially? Well, listen, uh, what do you mean racially? Just because he has a funny name. No, he said domination. You can Listen. win. You can win an away game at Leicester with Tomiyasu, S- but not Sadam, dominate Sadam, the Premier League. Jimani, no, Sadam let me explain Allah. this because your point is valid, right? Where's, where's Brown as a Champions League medal? 
That's what I say. Bro, bro. <laughs> West Brown is the to bowler to, to no. me. Ask me yeah, shut the hell what? up. Shut the hell yeah, up, bro. bro. No, you listen, mad. G Money, yeah, wait, wait. Let's not get into name, that. Man. Let's not get into that. West Brown the thing is, much better this guy, is, you, know what, you know what this is, right? Because I've seen this before. I've seen Saddam play against kids and lose to kids and then say, What are you doing? What are you doing? You get like that's what he sees when Arsenal beat United, and the thing is, this is the statistically the best Arsenal team in Premier League history. That means better than Henri Burkamp, guys. Like in terms of but points, you've won wise, right? Nothing. You right? Know, you're, you've won okay. nothing. And, 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 and we're not doing that. Nothing. We're not doing that with a bunch of 25 plus year olds who are well experienced. We're not doing that with them. We're doing, with the we're doing that with the, the youngest team in the league, and the youngest manager in the league. Mad thing. That's insane. You know what that means? That, that means in three mean years, they're three times better. That will only mean something. All, all, whatever you've just said is nonsense if you don't mean anything. No one will uh, remember you had the best team that won nothing. All right. Well, if you guys don't finish top four, nobody will care about Eric and Hugs' progress. Guys. No, 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 top four. No, top four. Top four. You're not I, I believe. Money. I believe. Uh, my, I'm very zen right now and I believe in empathy. <laughs> and I want as much as we can talk about having the youngest um, um, team in the league. Remember... <coughs> There's a team that has James Milner. By the way, you know I have a slap bet with Eric extension. and Kiari. Huh? Do you know about it? What's that? Slap bet. Oh, you do? Mm. To see if they don't come in the top. Um, it's not even that. It's crazier than. It's that. even worse. It's even worse. Tell me, than tell that. me, so that I can I can make sure that the slap bet. <coughs> yeah. Is. For as long as Liverpool don't finish above Arsenal, mm. they will get slapped. Love it. That's all I have to do. I just slap. have to wait. Slap. And slap. He, he tried to make it easier. He said, yeah. if Liverpool don't get into top four, you know, something like that. I something, really did. Something realistic. But they were like, nah. Mm. By January. <laughs> but the more. No, by, 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 by on, uh, was it by, November? By the November. time. November. December, by the time. December, <coughs> they really pushed January. the buck. Fam, I need, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you, man. Like, I used to, when, when we, you guys first started doing this, and the, the first time I came here, I used to look at, like, Gary, like, a voice of reason. And, like, you know, this guy <laughs> is like, wow. And I used to look at, like, you know, I, I used to say, Eric's the stupid <laughs> Liverpool fan, but Gary is the one who actually died, like, in, in, uh, um, you know when you dissect football from an intellectual point of view? Yeah. Remember the day we did the quiz? Yeah, yeah, and you got yeah, all yeah. those answers right. Yeah, I was like, yo, this guy knows what he's talking about. Encyclopedia and thing. And then, I don't know what happened. It must have been COVID or something, like during that whole period. <laughs> he's just gone from like, wild, from, from decent takes to wild takes. <laughs> Meanwhile, the court jester Eric has been to the World Cup. Well, I, the world has just gone down. <laughs> I think, I think it, it's, it's a sign that Eric doesn't do well in time, when time in terms of thinking when they're winning. <laughs> wow! And Kiara is the other way. Right. <laughs> so, like, Kiara who does... The, who right. Winning, Kiara is more reasonable. Because Liverpool like, were winning those days. No, ah, so he was... Him. So his brain was working. Yeah. But now that they're losing, his brain is going all over He's the place. He's struggling. He doesn't know how to handle it. He's, He's gone back shit. to his, like, PTSD, PTSD Arsenal seconds. days. Like, oh. PTSD. Yeah, that's Pre trophy. And then now the worst thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then the worst thing is you guys are now shining. Yeah, bro. So he he's wants like, to come like back so bad. I know he does. I know he, he does. Well, like, they all so want to come back. Low yeah. and all of them. Yeah, I know. They all want to come back. Lotin is bantering me at like twelve AM when Arsenal's playing in Oxford United. I'm like, why are you watching the game? <laughs> exactly. Why are you watching the game? Wow. Don't you have to be at work tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. If you're a city fan. You should be at work tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> He's there analyzing Lokonga's whack. I mean, I'm like, you want us to get someone better? Someone better I, I, le- you at least with Saddam, <laughs> at least with Saddam, he doesn't really like United. So yeah. there's no there's no issues there. Like, yeah, no, no, I mean, I appreciate no what Saddam is doing, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, he's he's not the hero we wanted. Yeah. But he is the hero we needed. Like Saddam could support Leeds tomorrow if he wanted to. And and do it very well. He'd do it very well he'd because be like, all he'd have to do is for this better than Ian Wright. <laughs> Okay, okay. But no, but listen, I left I, foot. No, I just want to say. Left foot, no, wait. Let me say this. Bamford is a better left foot than Ian Wright. <laughs> <laughs> no, Le- but no, I just no, want to no, say, no. like, I just want to, I just want to. the name, yeah? Listen, Saddam, I just want to point out one thing. Like, honestly, the consistency that you've shown. That's why he's Ian Wright, not Ian left. Fair enough, fair enough. The consistency that you've shown in, I don't know, just predicting the complete opposite of the future. Bro. It's mad. I said we'll score two goals. It's mad. I said and that's we'll the score thing, two like, goals. You know what he does? 
he can even do a prediction one minute before the event that he was talking about and mm. then it goes the other way Fam, let one me minute you. it doesn't matter I saw I saw a meme that sums up um, Saddam huh. it was the city where there's, there's this guy and he's laying in his bed and he's saying like in a Jamaican accent boy them man they're wicked <laughs> <laughs> but then he goes but me wicked than them I saw that well, too I saw that too that's Crazy. you, man. Are you ever going to leave the uh, United uh, fan base? Jinx no, 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 no. Man. You're already like that. Jinx to them. Oh, fuck. Mm. United fans hate you, though. They really do. Nah, I love they him. really hate you. love him, bro. I mean, it's your brother. Like, I mean, we're, if we're losing, I'm an easy target. I'll take, I'll take the heat. I'll oh, take the heat okay. when we're losing because no, but it's, it's for it's, a greater but, cause. But, but Saddam, you're not the easy target. You are the link to the loss. Because you said, for example, you're not just doing predictions like, G-Money, I think uh, United is going to win 3-2. Then mm. they lose Yeah, but 3-2, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's saying, ha ha, these guys, they don't know, Kwani, we have a World Cup winning centre-back partnership and they bring mm. on Ketia. Who scores the goals? Yeah. Ketia. That's a Saddam jinx immediately. What There's, the, what I'm the just World glad. You know, I'm the glad, the honestly. What was the World Cup one? That he said that, you know, because you guys won the World Cup, you have two World Cup yeah, winning yeah, 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 uh, centre backs. Yeah. yeah, that was the I'm, one. You know, honestly, we tweeted and then it immediately happened. Like we yeah, were in the, in the final place. at the World yeah. Cup final. It was, Grealish one. it was Jack Grealish. Was oh, yeah. it was Jack Grealish. Yeah. 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 Who brings on? You, 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 you want, want a goal? goal. Yes. Who brings on Grealish? Like, and then who bangs? You see, like it's but we won it's, the game. it's a direct causal relationship. Because you yeah. stopped tweeting. We won no. the game because you stopped tweeting, bro. That's true. Well, that's true. I'm, I'm just glad I know Saddam in real life. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I I'd hate him. He's like that octopus, the one that did the predictions, but the, the op- but opposite. Op- but see now the thing is, is the opposite opposite oh, octopus. Wow, well, that was that was a mouthful. Octopus or no? The octopus. No, when you start talking about artists, I'm about to leave. I don't know phone calls <laughs> <laughs> or block the cards. Yeah, it's been a while since I mentioned Nini. God damn. <laughs> so, give a shout no, out. No, 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 no. Anyway, I'm not part of that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you so much, G-Money, for no, coming. No, man, always a pleasure. Naeem, thank you so much also wait, for coming. Your also, your genuine top four prediction. Now that again. you've seen... Wait, now, again. No, wait, now that you've seen how we are playing. Again. Wait, now that, now that you see how we are with Casemiro. Well, and can I, just, I want can I just to be, read? And I'm only asking you... All right, before, asking before the predictions, I'm before the you. prediction, uh, casual uh, mention, we're going to be at the bottle top again, Saddam, Naeem. Uh, no, not Saddam. Saddam, when? you might be there. When? We'll see you Friday. Friday, Friday 11 p.m. Man City Aye, taking on Arsenal mm. in the FA Cup. We're going to be at the bottle top Mudengari. So just watch out for our social media pages and we'll share all the information with you. Top all four? right, let's go. Top four is not changing from what we have now. Okay. Oh. So top four is going to be Arsenal, City, United, and then Newcastle. Wow. Okay, so it's just going to yeah, switch. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's my top four. Because I think... Like the other pl- the other teams who are below that Spurs, they're too far. They're too far. It will take a while. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like we are playing horribly. No, we are only getting better. Yeah. Now, if Man United mm. meet Newcastle in the Carabao Cup final, who's winning that final? We're beating them. By the way. United. Newcastle. Newcastle. No, no, we're no, beating United. them. United. Newcastle. We, we, if you watch our game against them at their home, you know, and we were robbed of a clear penalty, you know, and we played so much better. You know, you know, Newcastle. I don't think they're better than us. Newcastle remind me of, and, I'm, and I don't want to speak badly of them. No, you can speak badly of them. We are not sponsored by Saudi so Arabia money here. <laughs> but <laughs> say they're fucking shit. But they're no, shit. <clears throat> I think Nini. that Newcastle are one hammer, are one hammering away <laughs> from losing their momentum completely. Really? Yeah, I, mean, I really I do. I think I'm jo- they're gonna hold out United throughout one twenty minutes and then wait it on penalties. Mm. I really do, because that's genuinely what happens when you have such a stubborn defense. They yeah, do have a stubborn defense. Yeah, fuck, it's the most stubborn defense. It's almost as stubborn as Saddam when he's talking about United. That's true. I agree From with From today, you. this is my club. Mm-hmm. Epic. Do you have an updated top four? Uh, yeah, actually, I agree with G. Wait, gonna, wait, 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 wait. He said Arsenal is winning. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> For real. I don't know Bro, if you know name, but I don't think you're allowed to have your own opinion. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? We beat City, right? But City, we've, no, we've shown people that City are not all that, and then Arsenal. No, but beat we are, us. we are the ones. And then Arsenal beat us. Wait, do you we, th- we are the deciders here. You see? Okay. So, yeah. guys, Arsenal's winning Same. the league. No, I agree. I think it's gonna be um, Arsenal, City, City, Newcastle, United. 
Oh really? Mm. Okay. So I'm the one who says City is going to win the league. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. And I'm, no, I'm the only correct one. So we'll come up to this video in Yes. Exactly. By April. By and April, also April 16th. Do you know do you know how, do you know, do you know how bad it is? Today was the first day that I've been looking in and analyzing each team's run in. Like you know when you start analyzing the run in, you know that your your it's you're getting there. real. Mentally you're there. You get me? And when I looked at Arsenal's run in, April comp- is tough. April is tough. But when I looked at no, and only Three weeks of April and stuff. When I looked at City's running, R- City have to play all those teams that still hate them. Plus Champions League. Fuck plus Champions know. League. Plus F whatever else cup they're in. They're only in yeah. FA. Yeah. I don't get that, by the way, how our running is harder because in our running there's mid table teams like Liverpool and Chelsea. Yeah, but by I I, I kind of think shut the fuck up. I by know. I've kind of think I I, know, I, I agree with you now? mid table yeah, now, but <laughs> they are mid table. <laughs> by by the end of the season, yeah. by the end of the season, Chelsea and Liverpool are about are going to be battling with heartbreak. Let me tell you that that Europa League, Europa League Europa Conference um, playoff six mm. the five six and seven. Yeah, fam, if you're a Liverpool fan, I guarantee you you're going to see heartbreak in the latter stages of this season because you're going to think, your ego's going to tell you, we're good enough to get into the top four yeah. and you're going to fall short and you're going to land in the conference. <laughs> It's going to be you know, beautiful. But, but also, you know, like they, they pretend they're going to stay in the Champions League as if they're going to play some sporting Lisbon or something. No, no, they're, they're playing Real Madrid. Madrid. They're not <laughs> pretending that they're staying. They're uh. actually telling me, Kiare, Eric, when we win the Champions League, When That's we, mad. When we win the Champions League. Yo, but can you guys sustain a top four race being in the only team in that race uh, in four competitions? Because I saw your sk- fixture schedule. You guys will play Wednesday weekend, m- midweek, weekend, midweek, weekend. For two months straight. For about two months. No, That's no, but mad. That if we proceed in FA and Champions League, I, I think FA will start watch out. Mm. Oh, and Europa okay. uh, and Europa winning, the Arch. Carabao, <laughs> so but the Arch, it's Barca Barca nah. just clapped Real Madrid but, bro, 3-1 but every single United fan always say we want Barca so now you no, have no, no, I genuinely think we'll be better at Barcelona but maybe if a tactical reason we let them beat us so that we can concentrate on top 4 because <laughs> <laughs> you want to be because you know you're not going to win the Europa League there's no point you're wasting your time there no joke. Mm, okay, so. and <laughs> Carabao because it's confirmed no joke. Like we, they, we've already started the, we should book parade Mm. And Newcastle. Before we go, the con- the conversation is back. By the way, what conversation? What conversation? Bissaka versus Trent. It's back on. It's and back I'm on, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen. And I'm yeah. sorry. Bissaka is winning this. He already has more assists than Trent. How the turns have tabled. <laughs> the tables have turned. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's it for me. All right. Man. Cool. Thank you so much. Thanks for li- thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And oh we'll see you guys next week. Alrighty.